Hey, Dr. G here with naturalfoodsdiet.org. Listen to this. A pharmacy group has petitioned the FDA to require a consultation with a pharmacist before you'll be allowed to purchase St. John's wort to treat your depression. Now, I want you to think about this for a minute. They're saying they want the guy or gal behind the counter in the drugstore to be required to give you advice about taking an herb. Otherwise, you're not allowed to buy it. I would suggest your garbage collector is just as likely to know as much about herbs than a pharmacist trained only in the use of drugs. And just consider where this pharmacist is working. You know, the chain drug stores. These places are chock full of health destroying products. One aisle has high fructose corn syrup, sweetened beverages. The next aisle has sugar laden candy bars that are held together by hydrogenated GMO soy, soybean and cottonseed oil. The next aisle, toxin filled over the counter remedies. Then the next aisle, there's nail polish, lipstick. Well, I'm sure you get the picture. No one that works in that toxin barn should ever give anyone any advice on health. You think it's a good thing to have a drugstore on every corner? Or, as in the case of my neighborhood, a CVS store on one side of the street and a Walgreens right across the street. Just think of the immense profits these places are making on our backs, and this enables them to place a multi-million dollar store on just about every street corner in the United States. From my perspective, it would make sense to use St. John's wort for depression before resorting to a drug. Now, unlike the drugs for depression, St. John's wort hasn't been linked to addiction, suicide, or violent behavior, or many of the, of the other documented health side effects of antidepressants. It also appears to be as effective, and it's been used for many years, especially in countries like Germany, and it's used to treat mild depression, especially in children and adolescents. Now, a review by the studies from Cochrane concluded that St. John's wort extracts that were tested in the trials that they looked at are number one, they're superior to placebo in patients with major depression. Number two, they're similarly effective as the standard antidepressants. And number three, they have fewer side effects than the standard antidepressants. Now the fewer side effects issue is really important. A recent study found that St. John's wort was superior to fluoxetine, which is Prozac in overall incidence of side effects. And also it had less side effects and also it had less severe side effects. Now, similar studies have found St. John's wort superior to other SSRI drugs as well. Now, you know that the FDA requires a black box warning on the SSRI antidepressants that warn of suicide risk, especially for children and adolescents. But the FDA ignores the increased risk of violent behavior. Now, it only takes common sense and being able to put two and two together to see that the antidepressants cause violent behavior. But the FDA has no common sense, and really they can't add, except when you figure out that a large portion of their budget is paid for by the makers of the antidepressant drugs. So, Antidepressant drugs are a huge business for the pharmaceutical companies. They're used by 11% of the U.S. population, and their use has increased over 400% in the last 10 years. In fact, seven of the top 18 prescribed drugs are antidepressants. Now, because it's safe, effective, and relatively inexpensive, St. John's wort poses serious competition to the U.S. pharmaceutical industry. And more and more people are turning to this over-the-counter herb for treatment instead of relying on those pharmaceutical drugs to treat depression. And this has these pharmacists running scared. They demand their piece of the pie, even though it really makes no sense because a pharmacist rarely knows anything about herbs. 
Now, my recommendation is write to the FDA and let them know that you want to keep your access to herbs like St. John's wort unhindered, unhindered by the pharmacists, the keepers of the neighborhood toxin barn. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching and please leave a comment below.